this video we will talk about the EC classification of enzymes so this EC classification you might have heard uh, if you have studied about the enzymes and in their classification so often we get confused about its classification here I will clear I will clear all about this so this EC classification in this EC classification this EC stands for the elect enzyme commi uh, enzyme commission uh, that classifies the enzymes and you might be knowing that there are about six classes in which the enzymes are classified so these six classes uh, i will tell you all about these six classes before that we should be understand understand it how this ec classification works so uh, for example you might have uh, seen that uh, something like this is written if we have to write, uh, write this classification EC uh, then 2.7.1.2 this is this is the name for the enzyme hexokinase this is the name for the enzyme hexokinase here you can see that its name is written as EC 2.7.1.2 here this 2 here this 2 stands for the class the class to which the enzyme belong and I will tell you all about the classes the 6 type of classes that are present and this 7 stands for the subclass and this 1 stands for the sub subclass and the 2 stands for the serial number of the sub subclass so uh, these are the things so what are these classes subclasses sub subclasses and this serial number now we will study about that so okay let's uh, let's first talk about the six type of classes six type of classes so you will see uh, I hope you are able to see this table so in this you are able to see the enzyme class these are the six enzyme classes that are found in this classification first is the oxidoreductases that is EC1 EC2 is transferases EC3 is hydrolases EC4 is lyases and EC5 is isomerases and the last one is the ligases so these are the six classes and you can see that th their names are according to the reaction they catalyze if they catalyze the oxidation reduction reaction then they are known as oxidoreductases as you can see in the reaction one compound will get oxidized and the another compound will get reduced at the same time the second is the EC2 transferases in this case there will be a transfer of an atom or group between two molecules for example in this reaction you can see a compound is there comprising of A and B and uh, when they react, react with the compound C then you can see that there is a transfer of the B group from AB to the C compound so it is catalyzed by the transferases in EC3 you can see hydrolases hydrolysis what it do what it does it hydrolyzes the reaction it means that in presence of h2o it break down a compound into in its uh, into two or more compounds the another one is lyases lyases do do the breakdown of the compound obviously but it not do it by using hydrolysis so in this reaction you can see a compound uh, made up uh, made up of a and b uh, get hydrolyzed but there is no use of water in case of uh, isomerases you can see isomerization, isomerization reaction where uh, the isomers will be formed and in the last one ligase, ligases you can see the synthesis reactions where there is a use of energy in the form of nucleoside triphosphate in this case you can see ATP is being used for the synthesis of AB compound so these are the six classes of enzymes in which they are classified 
so after knowing all these things all these classes i hope you are getting the idea of the class of enzymes these are the six classes in which they are classified according to the ec that is enzyme commission now after knowing this uh, now after knowing this let's talk about the other things that that i already told you earlier the another one the sub sub class and all those kind of things for knowing that for knowing all the all of those things i think you should for you sh i should explain you by using some example for example i will tell you about um, i will tell you about an enzyme about an enzyme that belongs to the class of oxido reductases so oxido reductases so uh if an enzyme for example if an enzyme have ec number ec 1.1.1.4 so in this case the first digit in this case the first digit signifies the class and obviously it denotes that the reaction it is catalyzing is a oxidation reduction reaction the second digit signifies here the sub class here in sub class it contains the name of the compounds that are acting as hydrogen or electron donor in the third point that is one here indicate the hydrogen or electron acceptor for example whether it is nad plus or fe3 plus and the last one that is a serial number it indicates the order in which each enzyme is added to the list to the list that was made for this enzyme so it indicates that so i hope you are getting an idea about these uh, writing of these names about of an enzyme i hope you are getting this idea and uh, similarly this this uh, this is a thing for this uh, oxido reductases similarly i can tell you about uh, isomerases if i have to tell you about isomerases then ec for example if i will take about ec number 5.1.1.4 sorry for this uh, bad writing but uh, i hope you are able to understand this so this in case of this isomerases this ec 5.1.1.4 the first digit that is this 5 indicate the isomerization reactions and the sub, this one indicate a subclass and here uh it denotes the type of reaction for example uh, it is a racemization reaction or epimerization or it can assist trans isomerization so th these can be the things and this one again denote a substrate on which the enzyme is acting and the fourth uh number indicate the order in which each enzyme is added to the list so i hope you are getting this idea so for further clarifying your concept i i will tell you that uh, actually what is happening here is that this is fixed this ec 1 2 3 4 5 6 is fixed according to the table i already shown you so this first digit this first digit is fixed one and the second one will vary within a particular class according to the compound which is there present in it okay and the third one will also vary within a class and the fourth one will vary according to the order in which each enzyme is added to the list so for each and every enzyme this number will be unique and hence it is a very good method to classify the enzymes and naming them so 
that's all for today's video i hope you got some idea about how how enzymes are named in, under this ec system and how each and each and every enzyme get it get its name based on the type of reaction it catalyzes and also based on uh, various aspects i hope you like this video and you got some information and in the end thanks for watching